Hello and greetings everyone. Today I will briefly explain our executive summary. We are a game developer company that has been established for 10 years and we provide entertainments for the masses. In this report, we will point out the relations between working place environment and the employee's productivity. According to the survey conducted via workers' satisfactory polls, the results show 76% of the employees voted for unsatisfactory workplace, while only 24% voted for satisfactory working place. Moontoon and Blue Hole Studio are our great rivals. To solve this problem, we could provide small nursery, breastfeeding area, soundproof space, game room, pantry, dual function room, and also lockers. We aim to increase our employees' performance, increase job satisfaction, creating a friendly and warm environment, encompassing range of disciplines and services, and lastly, to ensure health and safety standards are met. In the last three years, our company has grown steadily in our annual sales revenue. In 2017, we accumulated 5 million, and in 2018, it increased by 20%, which equaled to 6.5 million. And it increased again last year by 60%, which equaled to 8 million. At the moment, we are not in the point of breaking even, and after the completion of this project, we would like to repay full sum to the investors with an interest of 3%. Thank you. Good day everyone, we are from Metaco, a developer company specializes in designing, developing and also creating video games. So today, we will be presenting our proposal regarding the current situation in our company. So basically, uh, the aim of our proposal is to address uh, the company's lack of amenities as this situation has led to numerous problems. So the, uh, the situation that happened in our company includes the tiny and claustrophobic working spaces for the employees. The second one is the lack of essential facilities uh, such as the changing room and also the restroom. The next one is having no leisure space for the employees to release their tension. And the last one is having no special room for mothers and children. Now it is my turn to present on the goals and objective. For this project, our company Metaco has three main goals to achieve which are firstly is to provide an efficient mother and child room, second is to create a leisure space for the workers and third is to provide a personal working space for the workers. As for the first goal, we want to achieve the goal with the objective of giving a comfortable breastfeeding area for new mothers as the company noticed that most of the mothers don't have um, a privacy to pump their milk regularly and we also want to create a small nursery for the children by hiring caregivers to facilitate working parents with their children as nowadays it is not easy to find the trusted babysitters now for our second goal which is to provide a leisure space for the workers we want to achieve this goal with the objective of providing a game room for the workers to gain inspiration and release their tension and we also want to supply a pantry for the workers for them to eat and relax in the leisure space provided and for the third goal which is the last goal which is to provide personal working space for the workers we had this goal with the objective of uh, providing a soundproof working space for the workers for them to concentrate as the company believes that the personal working space is very essential for every workers and our second objective for this goal is to provide a dual function room where workers can take a short nap and improve their productivity for the next uh, work and our last objective is to offer an individual lockers for spacious personal storage so i think that is all from me 
Thank you. So now I'll explain my part, which is project description. Basically, this project aims to meet the immediate needs of the organization as well as for the sake of every employees. Um, this project duration is six months from approval of fundings to the completion of works. Moving on to the next uh, part, which is proposed design. So uh, the breastfeeding room should be installed with a separate thermostat to maintain um, the temperature inside the room. Uh, as for the furniture and equipment, everything will be supplied by a reputable uh, local suppliers in Malaysia. Uh, the lockers are made from ABS engineering grade plastic material with uh, such features as it is strong and durable, recyclable and rust proof with multiple locking options. Um, the expected outcome after this proposal uh, is approved are to uh, increase employees' performance by giving them motivation as well as to ensure health and safety standards are met for everyone. So it is my turn now to continuing on in presenting on our proposal. I will be presenting on budget, uh, which our budget has been divided into three parts, uh, labor, equipment and miscellaneous expense. For the first part, uh, the labor, we are planning in hiring three experienced babysitters, uh, which have, uh, which uh, them have experiences in handling toddlers and have worked in nurseries. So like I said, we'll be hiring three people. So per person will receive 1,100 ringgit Malaysia per month. So all of them will be mounted up to 3,300 ringgit Malaysia per month. Okay, so next for uh, the equi uh, equipment. Equipment is actually made up uh, of furnitures like uh, changing tables, sofas and also baby cots for the nurseries. And next is for the pantry like microwave, refrigerator, vending machine, um, dining tables, um, television, so all of these things are mounted up to 700 and seven, 17,755 ringgit Malaysia. So the third part and final part is miscellaneous expense, uh, which we will uh, be spending uh, on about 270 ringgit Malaysia on the shipping um, fees so it will actually it will be a traveling a uh, travel allowance to our employees that will bring all of this stuff that I have mentioned before to our office so uh, the 270 ringgit Malaysia will be covered on their gas and toll fees uh, so um, to sum up all of these uh, three parts will be mounted up to 21,325 ringgit Malaysia and it actually should be more than uh, this um, number but thank uh, thank uh, we are very thankful to uh, and booth company which they will be sponsoring our company metaco in supplying eight work ports to be distributed around our organization to ease our employees along their uh, their work so yeah that's all from me Assalamualaikum, my name is Nur Asa bin Razaman and my magic number is 051195. I am going to explain about the anticipated benefits for the completed project. So, this project is beneficial to both the employees and the company in the long run. For the employees, they would be able to use the facilities that they needed the most, such as the pantries, the game rooms and the private breastfeeding areas. Um, for example, the employees would be able to rest during the lunch break, at the at a comfortable areas and a nursing employees will be able to breastfeed their offsprings in a comfortable and private area the pantry that is uh, provided also would be able to be used uh, to the fullest to for them to eat and and uh, to drink beverages okay for the companies on the other hand the, the company's moral will be heightened with the with the uh, offers of on-site daycare center and the uh, the satisfied and happy employees would perform better and uh, would perform better uh, in work and will be able to to contribute more to the companies uh, in addition the company also the company's image as a socially responsible organization will increase 
with the offers that they uh, with offers to the employees okay besides that uh, the absenteeism and uh, turnover from employees would be reduced because uh, the employees doesn't have to take a day off to take care of their children uh, last but not least uh, the companies will have a wider applicants from uh, employees um, because of the offers uh, that they have uh, to the company which is the on-site daycare um, also in additions uh, the cost for hiring and um, for hiring the replacement for nursing mother would be uh, saved because the employees will uh, be able to come to work even with their children. I think that's all from me. Thank you. All in all, the reason we propose this topic is because we find that it is very important to provide a practical and also conducive working spaces for the employees in our company as we believe that employees are the backbone for a business to grow and succeed and our employees have given their all to make certain of our company's uh, growth and also success since it was first established in 2010. Hence, we are proposing funds to provide the equipment for a conducive working spaces uh, as the funding will help in improving the renovation process and also in upgrading our company's goods and services. So we hope that uh, our proposal will come into consideration. Thank you.